Hi everyone, today we are going to get started with CMake on Windows. I currently am using Windows 11, but the steps should be the same if this is the future and there's a new version of Windows or if you are using an older version of Windows. So let's get to it. First things first, I just quite simply search for CMake to find CMake.org, the website. Go under download. We will select the Windows 64-bit installer. So I already downloaded this, but if you click this, it will download it for you. I figured I'd save you a little bit of time watching it download. Next, um, sorry, I should have said, I searched for Ninja Build. And if you go to the ninjabuild.org website, you can just click on download the Ninja binary. And you'll want to select ninja-win.zip. I downloaded this as well. And another tool that I think will be helpful for you is Visual Studio Code. So if you go to the Visual Studio Code website, you can just click here to download the stable version of Windows, uh, the Windows version of Visual Studio Code. And then lastly, for a little bonus, um, I'm assuming you're probably going to want to use CMake with either C or C++. But if you do, uh, if you go to search TDM GCC, it is a way to use the GCC compiler on Windows. So you just click under download and then you can select the TDM 64-bit since you probably want to build 64-bit programs. All right, so those are all the downloads. Once CMake is done downloading, it's the normal sign your life away agreements. And we will want to add this to the system path for all users. That makes command line use easier in the future. We just click next, we click install. It asks me if I really want to do what I said I just want to do. And then it will start to install it. So that's pretty straightforward. Well, that's installing. Let's look at our downloads folder here and open up the Ninja Win. So this is just a zip file and it has the binary in there for us. We'll just wait for CMake to finish doing its thing. And I'll open another window while it is wrapping up. So around now it should exist already. We'll go under this PC, go to the C drive, and under Program Files, we will find... Uh, it's not there quite yet. There it is, CMake. So we'll go into the CMake directory under bin for binary. We have all of the different little executables that CMake works with. And I'm just going to drop Ninja right into... Oh, got to hit OK, I'm sure. Oh, maybe not. Nice. Um, I'm going to put Ninja into this directory. As you'll recall on the installer here, we added CMake to our path, which automatically means that Ninja will be in our path and it will be discoverable. OK, that was pretty straightforward. Next, we will run our Visual Studio Code setup. And... My little poor computer's chugging away over here. I don't know why. But we will accept the license agreement at, per usual. Next. All right. So I would highly recommend that you add these two. One of them is so that on a specific file, you can click open with code. And the other one is that you can open folders or directories with it. And that is extremely helpful. And if you want a desktop icon, you can go for it and do that too. So we will let that install. All right, and hmm, yeah, we can launch Visual Studio. We won't be using it quite yet. But uh, let's see. Dark Modern. That sounds good. Let's go with that. And let's just close the welcome screen. I don't think I need to worry about anything else from there for now. 
Let's minimize this and let's add the TDM GCC. Yes, I do agree to sign my life away to these people as well. All right, so we will, um, I already actually do have it installed on this computer, but we'll do create and see if it complains. It does not. We want 64-bit and 32-bit. We want to install it into that directory that it mentioned, which is this one. And it says it's not empty. Um, well, I don't necessarily need to go through the process of that because that is the last step. Once you hit next, it will install everything that you need and you can click finish on that as well. All right, so those are all of the programs installed. Now let's actually configure, configure Visual Studio. So here we are. There are some ext extensions I recommend that you would get and currently none are installed. So let's add CMake Tools as one of them. It's provided by Microsoft. Our friends that also contribute a lot to Visual Studio Code here. And I also recommend working with TWXS's uh, CMake language support so that when you create a CMake lists, it automatically does the color stuff for you. Um, and it appears that the Microsoft one installed that as well because it says it's on there. So let's just confirm that. Yes, it is. Perfect. Also, I recommend if you are working with C++ and C that you would install the one here um, with a little three there. That will automatically install a bunch of other extensions for you as well because it's the extension pack. And it's installing that still. And I think that's probably about all that you would need. So I think it's about time that we actually run through a, a quick example. So I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop. Well, this is chugging away. And if it seems like I'm unfamiliar with Windows, I'm not that unfamiliar. I just don't use it as often as I do Linux. Uh, show more options. All right, so we want to do that open with code. Uh, yes, I, tr I trust myself. <laughs> I don't know if I should, but I do. So let's add in here just a basic main.cpp. And let's do include IO stream and we'll include ah, that should be good enough. Int main. We can do a nice little hello world program here. Standard C out. Hello world. Standard end line. Return zero. All right, so at this point, we should be able to build everything with the command line. But the point of using CMake is we don't need to do that. So let's, uh, I'm going to hit F1. Yes, that does work on Windows as well. Very good. We're going to do a CMake configure here. Scanning for kits. It apparently has found the kits that my system has to offer here. The um, the other thing is you can put on these things with Visual Studio build tools. So this would actually be a Microsoft compiler. And then GCC is the one that we just installed. So a lot of my tutorials are going to be using the GCC compiler rather than the um, Microsoft one. However, if you want to build stuff using the Microsoft compiler on a Microsoft system, I completely understand. Now you can see that it's configuring our project for us and uh, there is no CMake list yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually just create one here, CMake lists. It used to do this automatically, but 
uh, the defaults were eh, special. We'll say that. Um, why am I not getting highlighting? There it is. Um, we'll just say version and we'll do 3.0. Call our project hello. And I'm going to add an executable. We'll call it the same name as the project. Name. And we'll include main.cpp. Now you might be wondering, I'm going really fast through this. And the reason for that is I have other videos actually explaining this. And mainly we're just testing to make sure that what we're doing is working, not necessarily um, explaining everything. But since it's taking so long to configure anyway, um, what we have is we're saying the minimum version of CMake is version 3. I named my project Hello. That is a requirement. And I'm going to add an executable. The name of the executable will be hello.exe. And the only source file I'm currently including is main.cpp. So let's build this real quick. You'll notice this toolbar appeared at the bottom. That is what CMake Tools does for you. And it says it's working. So let's see if the debugger is working. We'll hit the little bug. And stuff's happening. That's always good. All right, so yes, we're on our line of code here, and we can step through. If we go over to the terminal, it says hello world, and we might as well just uh, run the program all the way to completion. Now if we just click the run button, we can see that it says hello world. Perfect, so we're able to build, we're able to debug, we're able to run. Um, we have our debug version is currently what we're doing we're, uh, because we want to do debugging you can select other options and our current compiler is the GCC compiler. So that's all that I have for you uh, in this video. This is the Windows video. If you like these videos that you see on my channel, please do consider subscribing. It helps get this out to a larger audience. And if you like this content, specifically Windows content, which I do very little of currently, uh, hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know that you want more Windows content as well as CMake content. So we look forward to seeing you in future videos.